Hi and welcome back to Power Electronics Lectures. In today's lecture, we will talk about the diode rectifiers, the uncontrolled rectifiers. Uh, we'll talk about introduction to these rectifiers, how these rectifiers are operating, uh, and also we'll uh, take some examples and also we'll compare between two types of rectifiers, which are the center tab uh, rectifiers and the other one, which is the bridge rectifier. A rectifier is a circuit or a converter that converts an AC power waveform into a DC, but not necessarily regulated waveform. So the input of the rectifier is AC and the output is DC. And usually this rectifier is connected to an input, which is an AC uh, power supply, for example. And this output should be most of the time or all of the time a DC output. This output can be an ideal output like this, or it can be variable or non-ideal. But in both cases, for the ideal or the non-ideal, both output here, this must must be positive upper than zero this is t and this is v out or t v out and this is v in the diode rectifiers can be divided into two main categories the single phase rectifiers and the multi-phase rectifiers and simply each one of these categories the single phase and the multi-phase can be divided also into two main categories which are the half wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier and here for the multi-phase the same thing half wave and full wave. Although the targeted rectifier uh, output should be ideal DC, like what we can see here, the practical output contains uh, harmonics or what we call ripple. The rectifier should give uh, a DC output voltage with minimum harmonics and should maintain the input current as uh, sinusoidal as possible so here we have to keep the output of this rectifier to be uh, free of harmonics or to be dc constant okay and also we have to look at this input and keep this input as sinusoidal as possible the current of the input must be sinusoidal as possible and also must be in phase with the input voltage. So here is the key point in any uh, rectifier. Why we need this? Because uh, we need to keep the power factor close to unity. If we try to look at the single phase full wave rectifiers, we find that there are two main uh, rectifiers in this category. Number one is what we call the center tab uh, transformer. And the circuit configuration for this uh, rectifier uh, looks like this. So here we have an input voltage source and here we have a line transformer. When we say line transformer means 50 Hertz, 60 Hertz, like that, like low frequency transformer. And this uh, transformer has two outputs.
and we use two diodes for this kind of uh, rectifier this kind of rectifiers and the load is connected in this this way let's say this is diode one and this is diode two and here let's say this i out and v out here we have the input voltage source a sine wave here you have pi 2 pi and this is omega t and here we have uh, the voltage source vs of t and here is the v maximum okay and here is the output voltage v out omega t and let's look at this second when the input voltage in the in the first half a cycle and this when the input is positive so what happens on the output here here we have transformer so we expect that the output will look like the input the secondary of this transformer will look like the input right so here when the input is positive in the first half a cycle so the input here will be like this and also here it will be like this since we have uh, input voltage here positive voltage on this diode what happens to this diode it will be short circuit it will be on and this diode if you look at this diode in the reverse bias this voltage is applied in the opposite direction so this will be a um, short circuit right will not be working so at this moment this diode will be disconducting be disconnecting and this diode will be connecting diode one will be connecting and the current will flow in this direction and the voltage that is applied on the output load it will be exactly similar to the input voltage now when the input in the negative have a cycle when the input is negative so here we have waveform like this and here we have waveform like this so this that will be off open circuit and diode 2 will be on it will be short circuit right and the current will be flowing in this direction and here we have no current because the diode will be off like open circuit right and the voltage across the load will be positive as well but the input voltage is negative so here if you look at the voltage across the load this voltage will be positive now the voltage across this diode will be how much when this is open circuit when this diode is off okay so we have here we have plus minus v out which is plus minus vs okay and also here we have plus minus vs so the voltage that is applied on the diode when the diode is off is equal to the voltage from here to here and the voltage from here to here so here let's try to draw the voltage across the diodes so for the for the first half a cycle when the when the input is positive that one will be on and that uh, two will be off when the that two will be off so the voltage applied on that two will be twice the input voltage minus two v maximum and here we have this is the the voltage on day two and here we have the same thing minus 
2v maximum and this is on diode v d1 okay now on this first half a cycle diode 1 will be on and for the negative half a cycle this will diode 2 will be on okay here diode 2 will be off and here diode 1 will be off because diode 2 is off here so this must be to must be able to tolerate it twice the input voltage okay and here we have the same thing when the diode is off diode 1 is off also this one must be able to tolerate twice the input voltage this is a general idea about the center tap uh, transformer rectifier let's move and see how the full bridge rectifier uh, the diode rectifier uh, looks like the full bridge uh, rectifier or the diode bridge uh, the full diode bridge rectifier uh, can be drawn like this you have an input voltage source connected to an isolated isolating transformer line transformer 50 hertz and the output of this transformer here of course we have let's say a sine wave and here also you have another sine wave no worries you can remove this transformer if you want but uh, isolation is very important in uh, our electronics uh, converters so here we have a bridge uh, rectifier we have four diodes first diode and the second diode and here we have another leak And all this is connected to a load to say this is a resistive load and the input is connected to the first leg and to the second leg this is R or say this is diode 1 diode 2 diode 3 and diode 4 now diode 1 and diode 2 will be operating together and diode 3 and diode 4 will be operating together now let's see the behavior of this uh, rectifier vs is a sine wave during the positive half, half wave now d1 diode 1 and diode 2 conduct because the uh, the the input here is positive so this diode will be on this diode will be off the current will be flowing to the load then we'll open this diode and we'll come back to the source okay so this is the first half, half cycle uh, the input voltage appears across the load then and the, in, during the negative half wave during this time when the input is negative so what happens at this moment this diode will be off d1 will be off because it's negative voltage uh, diode 4 will be conducting at this moment diode 2, two will be off and diode 3 will be conducting so here we get again the output on the load V out this will be positive positive is V max V max Now during this half, half cycle, the diode one and diode two are on, and here 
diode 3 and diode 4 will be on all means conducting. Okay. Now let's try to find the voltage applied on the diodes. On each one of these diodes. Now, if you compare this uh, rectifier with the previous one, you'll find that here we use four diodes. The center tap transformer one used two diodes only. That one can tolerate uh, each diode of the, the previous ones must tolerate twice the input voltage. Uh, for this kind of uh, rectifiers, the bridge rectifier uh, can tolerate only the uh, V maximum, the input voltage. Okay, so here VD of T, the voltage when each one of these diodes are off, then the, di the voltage applied on each one of these diodes will be how much? Only minus V maximum. Okay, and this is applied for diode 3 and 4, and they are off. And for this half a cycle, this voltage applied to V diode 1 and V diode 2 because they are off. And this is a very simple introduction to diode rectifiers. Uh, as we can see here, we have uh, advantages and disadvantages for each one of these rectifiers, like uh, the isolated transformers. Uh, for the center tap transformer, we need special type of transformers. For the bridge rectifiers, we don't need special type of transformer, just a normal isolation, uh, isolation transformer, for example. And also for the center tap transformers, uh, the DC current flowing through each side of the secondary winding will increase the transformer cost and size. So we don't use them uh, half of the time. Uh, if you look at the bridge rectifiers, um, the load current cannot be grounded without uh, an input uh, side transformer, right? And also, um, although an input side transformer is not needed for operating the rectifiers, it's uh, connected to provide isolation for the uh, bridge rectifier. Uh, so that's uh, everything for this uh, lecture. Uh, next time we'll continue talking about the bridge rectifiers and the multiphase rectifiers. So see you next time.